Hello everybody, this is Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and in this lesson I'm going to show you how to utilize the positioning properties that CSS provides you for all your elements. But as usual, feel free to follow along. The main thing that I'm going to be discussing in this tutorial is the use of margins and setting uh, margin left, margin right, margin top, and margin bottom to your elements. Very useful for positioning things. Now I covered this in a div tutorial. Um, when I was covering HTML, but I don't want anybody to get confused. This is pretty much the same thing, except I'm showing you how you can apply it to an element by means of CSS rather than applying a style type such as this and having to do it every time. So you can apply one type of uh, spacing, say for every time you have a content header or something like that. For your fonts, you maybe have a huge, you know, 36 pixel font header and you want it to be spaced down by 26 pixels on each page, then that's totally possible with this. So all you're going to notice here is that I have a div with uh, a font inside of it, and I have a space, and then I have a picture of good old Chuck Norris. So we're going to be messing with the alignment of Chuck Norris, and let's get down to it. Um, here's my CSS. These are my CSS tags. You should know these already go within the head tags. and. Uh, style type equals text slash CSS. I have a body. All it is is a background that repeats along the x-axis. I had a tutorial on that. Um, here's my temp font. You don't really need to worry about this. It's just uh, an ID that's applied to my font down here. And the one we're going to be working on is main content and everything within here, all the properties. So this is actually going to be a pretty quick tutorial. By default, you'll see you need to be aware of what your positioning is in HTML physically. Is it aligned to the left or the right or the center? Or in case of table elements, is there a vertical align, the top, the bottom? So just be aware, but by default, I'm just going to show you what it's like without it. So the first thing we're going to do is type margin dash left, and we'll say a margin of 100 pixels from the left and shortcut is control s on your keyboard and you can save it like such not necessary if you have dreamweaver all you have to do is click down here and it will pop up but actually it didn't pop up and this is why i have a main content class up here i'm sorry a main content id selector but it's not you'll notice this is the id as i said in my uh, selectors tutorial this is the id symbol in css the number sign and there's no ID attached to the div. So if I type div ID equals main content, then I can apply whatever properties are in here to main content. So now if I click down here, there it is. It's aligned from the left by 100 pixels. Now let's say we want to bring it down from the top of the document by 50 pixels or so, 50 pix. And I just click back down here, and there it is. It's moved down. So we'll preview this in Firefox, and there it is. I mean, hey, it's aligned from the left 100 pixels and down by 50 pixels. And I can resize this like such, and all is great. So we're going to close this now. And I'm going to, let's see, where else would you align it from? Say you want this to the far right of your document, and you want to work from there. Maybe you have articles and images that go along that side. Well, in this case, you need to come down to the actual HTML of the div and say the physical align by typing align equals right. And that'll align everything to the far right side of the document. But that means that your margin left is really going to be completely pointless because it's already aligned to the far right of the document. You know, what point is there in that? So all we're going to do is change that margin left now to a margin right. And it's going to set the spacing between the element, or the div in this case, from the far right of the document over by 100 pixels and there it is. If I go back up here, preview in Firefox and allow it to load, let's just maximize it. You can see now that it's at the far right side of the document and we have 100 pixel distance from the right, uh, 50 pixel distance from the top. Uh, let's say you want something aligned to the center. 
say you want something aligned to the center. In this case, CSS isn't even really needed or even required. It is if you want a margin from the top, and I do. So we're going to align this to the center, but first we're just going to specify the margin from the top as a little greater, maybe like 100 pixels down from the top of the document. And we're going to say align here equals center. And now it will align based upon the alignment property of the div itself. CSS will then go into main content, which is right here, and it will specify for everything that is inside this div to be down from the top of the document by our value, which is 100 pixels. I hope that follow. I know. I hope that uh, it's pretty easy to follow. But if it doesn't make sense, just ask a comment, and I will respond. Refresh the page, and there he is, man. Chuck Norris, center of the document. <sighs> that is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Chuck Norris, man. Man, he is cool. Unbeatable. Chuck Norris doesn't do push-ups. When he does push-ups, the earth is actually pushing against Chuck Norris. And with that, guys, this was a pretty quick tutorial on margins and spacing with CSS. My name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. Take care. Oh